I bobbed and weaved like a boxer for the rest of our day. I knew I had to play my cards carefully, not to burn a potential bridge. At the same time, I refused to end the night with my face buried in Will's lap. Tomorrow, I will consult with my father about my financial options. My anger toward him was slowly wearing down. I fell back into a corner. The truth of the matter was I needed some good advice from Daddy, a man who had always loved me. The pain of it all was trying to talk through a thick glass or having to speak through a small vent or having to talk on some dirty old phone surveillance by the police. There would be no kind of privacy. I would have to pick over each and every word. I hated the idea of not being able to touch my father, having to watch him move in calculated steps because his hand and feet were chained together. And what would I say to him about my mother? What had daddy already heard? Who would he blame? Wasn't my mother's condition his fault? Wasn't it the incident with Dulce that pushed mama over the edge in the first place? How much did Dulce cost daddy? Did she have money hidden that belonged to Santiago? Tomorrow I will get answers from him to all of my questions. I crawled into bed and noticed my cousin Bianca was back and fast asleep in our small room.